basically who am I and what do I do, right? Yeah, who are you, what do yeah. you do for anyone who doesn't uh, know? So online, I have, I have kind of two personality lives. So uh, online, I do, I'm like a public figure or working towards building this public figure where I help men generally aim towards men. It's my audience. Um, basically kind of find out how to be the best version of themselves or work towards being the best man themselves because I think that there's a lot of uh, space in this like manosphere where there's, there is a, a prescribed way to be a man. And mm -hmm. I kind of am under the teachings where everybody is their own man. You just have to kind of discover it. And what's a man for me is different than you. And, but there are some common traits of strength, power, all these things, and those can come in different forms. So I tried to really push towards that as the subtext, whether I talk about minimalism, fasting, or the new computer I bought. It's, there's a subtext going through of how I approach things from a real deep understanding of what I need in my life and what I stand for. So that's my internet thing. And then in my real day-to-day -day life, uh, I do motion graphics for music videos, commercials mostly, um, advertisement, um, and then just general like short films and stuff like that. So like VFX type of deal. Um, Very nice. And that's my main source of income, so. Okay, that's really cool, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, thanks. Coming from the background of uh, the photography and, and art myself, I totally understand what you mean. Yeah, yep. It's really cool. Yeah, I love uh, I love all the creation uh, mediums, so yeah. I'm with you on that. Yeah. So when and how did you discover fasting? So I discovered it, I suppose, through Greg O'Gallagher, Elliot Hulse, and some YouTube videos um, are like just random ones. I think there was this one kid who was like, I think he was like a van life vagabond kid. I'm not sure. And he did like a five day fast or something. And I was like, oh, wow. And then like his skin cleared up. And then uh, when I heard through Elliot Hull, some influence through him, uh, I read about the book, or I heard about the book, uh, complete, complete something to fasting by Jason Fung. I think it is oh, the complete guide to fasting. Yeah, yeah, which I think is still the best fasting book I've read to date. I've maybe read five or six since then. So, but his is definitely the best. Right now, I'm actually reading one too. Um, so, what is it? It's actually not. Not that bad. It's some new things that I never heard. I'm going to take a second to. Yeah, sure. Fast This Way by Dave Asprey. Oh, okay. Yeah. He, man, that guy, he has a lot of good information on fasting. And... Yeah. Yeah. That's some new stuff that I'm getting into. What inspired you to start fasting? Um, I was playing around, practicing, and getting some results with intermittent fasting. And then, and, and that became like in, I found intermittent fasting, which I'm going to consider a part of fasting because it's really such a staple of it is because I, because in my brain real quick, I separate intermittent fasting and extended fasting as two different things. There are two di different disciplines, headspaces, everything. I agree. But, but intermittent fasting for me, uh, I was inspired by the fitness world and the weight loss, the aesthetics of it, like everything, it just seemed to work. Oh, and Martin Birkin, Birkinham, I can't remember his last name, Martin, he's like the OG, one of the OG intermittent fasting guys, super, <laughs> okay. super cut guy, like, oh, does he have like 6% body fat or whatever? <laughs> um, he's awesome. And uh, he has a really rough, rough around the edges, his whole persona. So mm -hmm where somebody like him and other ones like Greg O'Gallagher, Greg O'Gallagher is much more friendly, family friendly, more handsome, all that stuff, right? And Martin <laughs> Burkham, I think it's Burkham or Burton, uh, 
he had an attitude, kind of a cold shoulder, but super, super education, like our, our uh, informed. Um, so I was inspired by the results that they had. And I was like, this is in line with me. I'd rather not eat than watch what I eat. I don't like cooking. I don't like doing these things. I'd rather just eat something once and be like, do that every day. So yeah. that's what got me into that. Just the lifestyle, the ease of getting, eating fine and eating what I want, but kind of like if it fits your macros, but even easier than that. So yeah. I that understand. was that especially doing like any meal prep, you don't really have to put brain power into what you need to eat, you know, this right. week. week after yeah, that. absolutely. All Maybe I need is like bit. my fitness pal or something. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that was, that was, I mean, intermittent fasting is a game changer. And, and that was, I found out about that years ago when it was like first gaining traction and I, I was just floored. I was like, this is for me 100%. Um, but then I, I fell off the, the wagon there. It became kind of a challenge. I just got, I wanted bagels every morning. I don't know what it was, but I lost the, the, the rhythm. Uh, then I wanted to do something extreme to see what would happen. And that was how I got into the extended fasting. And that was like, it was kind of like, there is a, there is some diminishing returns I've found over doing it, uh, plenty plenty of times. I'm actually on one right now. I'm on day two, day two right now, which is why I was like groggy. I was like out of it. And that's why I was oh. late. Cause I was like, this <laughs> particular fast is I'm struggling with, even though I just did a three and a half day fast last week, second day. And I'm struggling. I don't know why it's just, uh, whatever, okay, but, no, I understand. um, yeah, I just found like, I kind of, it's like intermittent fasting was me being lazy and just being like, okay, I'd, eat, I'd rather not do something than mm -hmm. watch what I do. And yeah. extended fasting is like that, but to the next level, like I'd rather be a little sloppy with my diet all the time and do extended fast than be a little more rigid. I, okay. it's, it may or may not be working out. It's kind of a new angle. <laughs> The cool thing about it is it gives you the flexibility uh, of diet in the case that that's something you're concerned about with what you're doing. So that, I'd say that's a good thing. Yeah. And then, of course, reading Jason Fung's book, I learned about all the health benefits, obviously. And when you feel it, when you feel that feeling after like that day three and it starts to kick in, gets easy and you're like, I could just keep going, going, going. It's it's amazing. That's like, like when the keto ketosis, I guess, kicks in really. Right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Okay. That's awesome. How was your first fast? I know you say you're about to get into that earlier. So tell me about your first fast and, and the experience of those days. Yeah. Uh, it was mind blowing, scary. Uh, I, yeah, it wasn't scary. Like I actually thought I was going to die. Cause by the time I started it, I knew I wasn't, I was fine, but it was scary to me to do something so bizarre in the world. Like I like, didn't tell people and they'd be like, Oh, do you want to get something to me? I'm like, Oh, I just ate, you know, like <laughs> right. it's, it was so weird. It's just such a weird thing. Cause it's just, I thought it was bizarre. Like who doesn't eat. And, um, I, it was the first time I ever went, over 24 hours without food and then when I first went like not just 24 actual hours like night to night but when I went woke up and went to bed without eating for the first time ever I think first time ever I it just opened up my world to make me realize I didn't need anything I wasn't reliant on anything whatsoever I didn't if I didn't need food I don't need to have like uh, just basically anything in the, in like a minimalist sense. Like I don't need new clothes. I don't need this thing. I don't need somebody to make me feel better. I don't, I'm, I'm so self-sufficient that I literally don't need to spend a single dollar in a day. I'm, I'm fine without and on the extreme end food fuel. And, uh, that was a game changer. My, my mindset changed forever to know that I have, a person 
has so much more they're capable of so much more and they really don't they don't need to rely on other people or anything because they're they're good without everybody I think most people at least I can only speak for myself but I see it in other people that they think they must have coffee they must have food or they're going to get hangry and I'm like that's not a real thing that's you just kind of being a bitch so to speak in my opinion once I learned yeah I used to think so too (laughs) I get it but once you don't do it and you're fine you look you're like oh I haven't eaten for seven days and I'm totally fine it's it it breaks your whole mold of reality so it's like the matrix a little so yeah and then actually I've done a 10 day one once which was that's my that's my record <laughs> but right yeah yeah that, that's that was the only thing I was really concerned about uh eventually I was thinking to myself to get into a five-day fast that is uh something that hit me more recently so I'm pretty sure I'll be doing that too but I'm already pretty skinny so I probably won't be going for too long <laughs> yeah yeah I hear that yeah I mean I go up and down like right now I've got some meat on me so fasting is a lot easier and yeah. when when I when I do fast and I'm thinner, like it's it's definitely a little harder. So yeah. So what is fasting like now compared to when you first started? So yeah, before fasting was mind blowing, weird, crazy, exciting, <laughs> um, and I, I feel like the results. Maybe it's just in my mind. Um, I was working way more towards them, so I feel like they were a little stronger. Um, now when I do fasting, it's kind of more commonplace. Like I'm in a, I did a three days, three and a half day fast last week, just because, and then I did, I'm doing another one until basically until I see my girlfriend again. So I don't, I know I'm just going to fast until I see her, whether it's two days from now or maybe three, <laughs> four. I don't know. I don't, we don't have plans this, yet. So I'm just going to go. And um, it's not a big deal, but I'm also yeah. not doing as much as far as like, I'm not like, I'm trying to walk like my 10K steps every day, but if I don't, I don't care. It's fine. I just don't. Uh, when before it was like, oh, this is what I'm doing. Because I needed that mental focus to 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 accomplish it. And uh, yeah. yeah, so, but now it's kind of a lot more casual and like, oh, okay, yeah, I'll do it. I appreciate that, especially knowing uh, when you get into that frame of mind, you realize you don't have to put such constrictions on yourself. It's it's quite liberating. Yeah, yeah, it's a good word for it. Yep, definitely. The what benefits results yeah. have you seen from fasting? Well, I guess there's there's physical benefits, uh, which were like a shrink wrap effect. Uh, on my body, it would, um, <laughs> there's so many, it's kind of hard to remember them all. Uh, I guess the ones that stand out that were most exciting was, well, obviously the waistline, like the spare tire trimmed down. I did, when I did seven days and I was hit, I worked out lightly. I did 10,000 plus, maybe 15,000 steps a day, all low impact, very, very, very low impact, but just steady. I wasn't working, so I had time to just pace myself through the day. I'd nap, whatever. I lost 14 and a half pounds in seven days, which is, isn't that crazy? I see kind of an average of one to two pounds a day, I think, with fasting. Um and I'm not super tall. I'm like five, six. So that's a lot off of my frame. So, uh, aside from that, which is obvious and awesome, but there was this glow in my skin and I can even kind of see, I don't think there's any weird filter on this, but, (laughs) (laughs) um, there's like a glow that happens. It's weird. And I don't know how to explain it. I don't know what it is. My eyes get whiter, like, it's it's like death is shedding off of me like i and i know there's actually cellular regeneration and if there is any way to have your body go backwards in time through autophagy this fasting is it it's like the only way to really rewind time like get like elasticity back like all this 
incredible things that sound unheard of or that like crackpot salesmen will be like, take this pill and you regenerate <laughs> a year of your life. It's like, no, right. that, that can actually happen. Just stop eating. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. And uh, it's amazing. And then you feel there's a lot of ups and downs. Uh, right now is like I just said, I'm on a fast right now. And it's kind of a tough day. Like mentally, it's tough. But then someday and then the rest of the time, it's like crazy amount of energy. So, mood elevated, can't be depressed. Even if it's like a struggle in the day, I don't get depressed. So there's this like mental clarity that comes through. Uh, it's like just an understanding of like how things really are. Like, oh, this is temporary. Like, I don't, I don't get upset about. It. I may be agitated, but uh, the mental acuity and focus and all of that is insane. And the kind of the kind of energy that I feel is is unlike any other. Where it's it's it feels like if uh, yeah if I could put a visual to the energy it's like it's like an ice cube where oh uh, without when I'm eating it's like a it's water splashing around in the bucket but now it's like solid and it's like tight and yeah it can kind of rattle around a lot harder but it settles really quick and then I'm back I'm like in and focus and that wow. those soft results are far more interesting and powerful than the weight loss. Although I usually don't do it right off the bat for the weight loss. Um, <laughs> but that, that, the, I mean, I, I don't do it for that. It's usually for the weight loss. And then when I start like mentally prepping for it, I, uh, I start to remember all those other things. And then I eventually do my extended fast for a full reset so I need I reset my mind my soul my body and now it's not a thing that I go for a result it's more of to eliminate it's to to start over it's to like refresh instead of yeah. necessarily become new so that's kind of my main focus and reason for doing it I feel you on that I definitely yeah. feel you on that I realize also that anytime I feel low on energy, it's kind of funny. People typically eat, but I realize after fasting for a while. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Like I love going out for a nice steak or a heavy meal, pasta or whatever, but it's that same feeling. You're like, uh, it's like Christmas dinner. You're like, oh God. Yeah. Right. Like that's what food does to you. It slows you down. It's like that whole thing, like with like a lion, who's fed is like they're sleeping they're chilling they're not running mm -hmm. around doing stuff so yeah that's right mm -hmm. give the body time to rest yeah yeah how has your family responded or reacted mm -hmm. to your fasting journey you know from the beginning up until yeah. now yeah so I, I like it i was saying earlier it's been a few years now i've been at this um at first I didn't really talk too much about them or, or say like really go into detail on what it was, but they knew that I was doing it, like the intermittent fasting. They're like, okay, whatever. That sounds weird. Uh, you got to eat. Come on, Jeff, you got to eat whatever <laughs> that whole thing, but they're pretty, they're pretty good. Um, at least they were just like, oh, okay, that's crazy. I could never, that was, I guess, the first people that I would hear, I could never. Okay. Um, and then they kept seeing me do it over the years and then they try it and they don't like it. They try it and try it in their own way, tweak it this way, that way. Um, but I wouldn't say I necessarily influence them to do it directly. It was more of another piece of influence in their life because family I've found they're a lot harder to give a, a um, like like an outside perspective or outside force can influence my family more so than I can oh okay so I, I'm not going to be they're not going to be like oh I start fasting sometimes because just I Jeff do it it doesn't it doesn't work like that in the family as much you know mm -hmm. so but I did kind of I think gave gave them the thing that there is this thing and then they found mm -hmm. their own personal influence um but they've tried it some of them do it 
Um, but the most, most of them are just like, oh, I could never do it for me. And I think that's one thing that I have found, just think about it just now, is most of the time when the conversation comes up about it, it's not wanting to know more. It's not me trying to share. It's more turns into their own conversation about themselves and their relationship with food. And mm -hmm. I try to, to tread lightly um, unless I was like a dietitian or something that I really, really, really knew my stuff, I'm not going to put what I do as a recommendation on them. I'd be like, yeah, you might like it if you tried it. I'll say something like that. I'll keep it very light. I understand. But, uh, I mean, if I'm talking to my friends, I'll be like, no, you have to do it. So I'm telling you it's going to be awesome. But family, <laughs> I kind of keep it that way because I feel like a lot of times too, like up here kind of shares, might share my mindset a little more than an inherent family member where mm -hmm. they may not share my mindset in any way. They're just related and we like each other, so. Yeah, no, I totally understand that, uh, especially from the, the perspective of someone who's been in that same position myself, you know, yeah. talking with family versus talking with friends. It, I'd say the interesting thing about it is, uh, my mom told me that she did fasting when she was younger, mm. uh, even more, uh, even more so when she mentioned she did dry fasting. Oh, I was, oh crap. I'm nerdy. I can't yeah. really see myself doing that one. Yeah. No, I'm not. doing that. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I draw the line. Like, no. <laughs> same here. Same here. Yeah. When she told me about that and she, she was actually all for it. Mm. So I was like, oh, wow. Okay. That's, that's awesome. Yeah. But, some of the uh, other people that I've met and also some of my other family who are a bit more thinking, no, that, that, that's okay. That's not for me, like, like you said. Mm -hmm. But uh, when some of the people that I have seen my results, uh, see how I've shifted mentally and physically, that, that's really what, they, uh, what gets their attention versus me simply saying, mm -hmm. maybe it'll work for you, you know, kind of thing. But uh, yeah, no, I, I totally get you. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's important. What you're saying too, is like the results, let the act, like the result, let the results speak. But um, yeah, that seems to be really the only thing that gets through, but the results are kind of uh, inevitable. Like how can you fast and not have some kind of results? It's, it's really, really, if, if you actually do it, like you're going to get some really strong results. And since it's so fast, like quick, um it it's so apparent versus a slow improvement for anyone looking to learn about fasting what are some resources you suggest what helped you out um i i think it depends on the kind of person if, if, if it's a book person that complete guide to fasting by jason fung was is still my favorite um and as far as YouTube goes, I think a lot of people love YouTube as a resource. Uh, I think Elliot Hulse is still a really good. He was my first one because he's done, he has so many different videos and he's such an evolving man. Sometimes like this video, you might be in line with him and some other time he'll have an older video that he's more aggressive and that might be more in line with you too. Um, so he has a lot of things like that. I tried, I did, peek around at a lot of YouTube videos, which I did this fasting and so on like that. And there's some really good ones, but unfortunately uh, there's a big difference between somebody who makes a YouTube video versus a person who's making like videos, videos, like as like, I say like my videos edited very well. I put the results right up in the first 10, 15 seconds. So you see, you get what you want. I know what I'm doing for the audience, so that that was a resource, but a lot of them are regular people, which are extremely important to see. But the editing, like you, you have to skip to the end if you want to see before and after, then you can go back and listen to the story, things like that. Those are kind of messy because they're not well crafted, they, they, they're long winded. So I would say stick to the people who are big in the headspace on it, like Elliot Hulse. Um, I, 
uh, Greg O'Gallagher, Kino Body is his, is his thing. Um, Martin Burkham, I don't know if he does YouTube, but he, he has online eBooks and he was like one of the original guys. Um, and then, I, I mean, intermittent fasting, any kind of health person on in intermittent fasting will get you some really good baseline knowledge. I wouldn't say extended fasting is the best. I don't think anybody should do extended fasting unless they have experience with intermittent fasting first, which is a major mental overhaul in itself. Skipping breakfast for a lot of people is a big deal. And it takes a while to understand and get used to that. Uh, I think that that headspace thing, like if it's like um, uh, maybe a doctor talking about intermittent fasting is a better resource than somebody sh who, who did it and shows pictures of them losing weight. Because that understanding is going to make it easier to be like, oh, no, it's okay. Oh, I have a headache. It's fine. It, it's just my body doing this and that, you know, uh, that I know it's more work that way. It's not as fun and glamorous to think about education for something. Right. If you're just like, I just want to lose some weight, but it's kind of like that 80, 20 rule. Like if you know more and you just have some education on it, it's going to carry you 80% of the way. So. Yeah, it's very empowering to be able to pull from the, that knowledge base that you have in your brain when, when you start reading and learning about all this stuff. And, yeah. and I know something that really helped me uh, in the beginning is to be able to watch people's videos who was going through this, you know, to hear their results and what they're going through uh, overall. Yeah, and yeah, I can, I can see that. And not, I don't think I could have done it without that too, to hear the insights I, like I said, I watch a lot of the videos. So maybe I'll backpedal yeah. a little bit on that saying like, no, those are encouraging to hear somebody be like, I don't know. I just couldn't get out of bed today. I'm powering <laughs> through like those. If you like stories like that, like that, that those are mm -hmm. for sure. Um, uh, but, but the way my brain works, uh, if anybody is like me, like I like to know a little bit of, like about like autophagy or, or something about like, what well, I'll refresh, but that kind of gets me through further than a mood because I, I'd rather um, encourage somebody to know what, that, that their pain is temporary, pain as in psychological, because actually I think this is why I'm, I'm kind of swimming here with this answer is because for me, the, the struggle with fasting is not physical, it's all mental. And I think it leans more on the heady side for me and my struggles than the emotional. I will be very, very emotional about everything, but like, I'll fight, I'll be like, is this some crazy? Or maybe I should quit today. I'll do it later tomorrow or I'll start again. There's way more heady arguments and conversations happening than me <laughs> feeling sad or I want to eat like that's not as big of a deal to me so I think that's why I kind of push that way but okay yeah yeah no, I'm uh, with you. so for anyone who is actually considering fasting uh what words of inspiration would you give them you'd be you're going to be surprised every hour. <laughs> every hour is a, a, like a, a victory. And some days you'll notice it. And some days, six hours will be fly by. You're like, oh my God, I just did six hours. And I was just, I was just struggling after six minutes. All of a sudden, I just went, I just like totally forgot. And your whole, whole mental model of the world is going to change in every way and it's going to carry through everything you do in life knowing that you're capable of literally more every single time you do it and if you do it and then you do it again next year or next month it's a whole nother lesson and you shed more junk from your body mentally and physically and it, i think it's it's one of the best things that everybody should absolutely do at least a couple times a year is an extended fast 
but I think intermittent fasting in itself is something that should be so regular. It may not have to be your full on lifestyle, but to know that like you skip breakfast three times a week, just on average, just, eh, I'm not going to eat today to keep yourself regulated, have a new model of not like this schedule eating. And, and like, you can just do what you need to do in each day and live however, without a schedule that is depicted because you're human. Like, I don't know. I just, you find out that you are superhuman when you don't have to be human. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, man. I'm with you on that. I'm totally with yeah. you. That is absolutely it. Awesome. Uh, it's been great talking to you. I really appreciate you. I'm honored that you, you took me on. Absolutely. And thank you very much for being here. I'll definitely talk with you soon, Jeff. Awesome, dude. Cheers. Peace.